with all the huffing and puffing. Maple's got some big news. Okay, Hazelnuts. There's gonna be some changes around here. Starting today, it's practice, practice, practice! <laughs> Daniel, am I dreaming? Are you finally going to play football? We're gonna start with 10 laps of the field. Then push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, dribbles, passes, penalty shootouts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Happy birthday, Steven. <laughs> you got me. You really got me. Oh, deep down, I knew it wasn't true. 52 years old? Well, oh, that's a cause for celebration. This team is killing me. Football isn't a joke. There's no gain without pain. Exactly. Wait, what? Pain. Pain. I don't know, Erico. I don't see anything unusual. Your friend's got a problem, Daniel. Look at her. Pain. But Tomei is always like that. That's her thing. Dark and brooding. Football's a team sport. If one player's got a problem, the whole team's got a problem. Especially if it's the only good player. But... The only good one! So be a proper team captain and go talk to her. Hey, Tamea, can I sit here? Sure. What's up these days? You good? Yeah. You want some cake? Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Later. Everything's fine, Eriko. Tamei is the same as always. Are you kidding? She barely said two words. Yeah, but that's how she is. Quiet and mysterious. So it's worse than I thought. There's nothing to worry about, Eriko. I'll prove to you that Tamea's fine. I'll go and make her laugh. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're doing the clown. Yep, you're doing the clown. Surprise! Tickle attack! <laughs> Uchi -kushi <laughs> You're right, Eriko. Tamea's not okay. She didn't laugh at a single one of my gags. Not even the surprise tickle attack! Pain! Pain! Maybe we need more clowns. No, Daniel, no more clowns. But Erico. No! More clowns! You know what makes people happy? Money. When I feel down, I just buy myself something nice and ka -ching! I feel much better. But what would make Tamea happy? I'm telling you, money buys happiness. Just buy her something. And that works? If it doesn't work, just buy something more oh. expensive. Hmm. Timea Morganson? Yeah. I've got a solid gold watch for you with a diamond bezel and a calfskin bracelet. Will you please sign for it? Nah. What about for the jet ski? Turbo engines and a leopard print paint job with calfskin upholstery. Nah. What about these bags of money? Start her up, Louie. We're sending it all back. My name is Sylvia, but whatever. I don't think she liked our presents, Erico. I told you to get two jet skis. Only cheap skates give one jet ski. I'll call the dealer. No, Erico. We need help. It's time to ask a responsible adult. <laughs> you did the right thing coming to see me, Daniel. You see, adolescence is like a tightrope strung between you and others. It's not easy to find your balance. Everyone is finding themselves at that age. Even I went through my rocker phase. Believe me, Daniel, the best way to reach Tamea's heart is through her ears. That music is diabolical! Diabolical! 
Well, I guess we'll have to save Tamea by ourselves. No, Eriko. It's not just us. Pain. Wow. Tamea needs us, Hazelnut. We have to cheer her up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we want to open up a positive, honest conversation, we could just encourage her to talk about her feelings. Or we could just show her cute cat pictures. Mm -hmm. We've got to encourage her. Nothing beats a good compliment or two. Right, Junior? Right? Right? Yeah, or we could just give her some space. What about flowers? Everyone loves flowers. Do something nice for her! Chocolates! Call a hypnotist! Wowee! They've got so many ideas! Which one do we choose? We choose all of them. All of them? All of them! All of them? That's crazy! That would be... A perfect, perfect day! day. Target is getting close. Everything ready, Daniel? Daniel! You need to say over. Otherwise, I don't know if it's my turn to talk. Over. Duh. Is everything ready, Daniel? Over! Affirmative, Eriko. The trajectory is locked. I've got Agents Tiger Lily, Big Daddy, Blondie, and Skinny Steve all in position. Over. <sighs> all right. She just passed the door. Good luck, everyone. Over. Roger. Okay, Tiger Lily. Compliment in. Three, two, one. Hi, Tamea. You look really good today. Thanks. You're up, Blondie. Here, Tamea, I picked you some fresh flowers. Mostly dark roses and black orchids. No, thanks. Chocolates? Not now, Big Daddy. Not now. Not now. Quick, we need to move on. Music, Skinny Steve. We've lost her. Tiger Lily, send in the cats. The cats! Pain. It's not working. Code red, I repeat, code red! It's all or nothing now. <laughs> Surprise! We've given your locker a makeover. We've changed your old paint for a tasty new varnish, raspberry colored. And since you like stickers, we've covered your locker with funny, cute ones. Okay, that's it. I'm off the team. What? But wait, we haven't done the dance routine or brought out the cookies yet. Uh, I mean, <laughs> There may be other surprises in store. I'll come back tomorrow to pick up my things. Chocolates! It'll never be the same again without Demea. Might as well stop playing football right now. Chocolates. Eriko, I think we got it wrong. You bet we got it wrong! Cross-eyed cats? Seriously, what was that? Skateboarding cats. Now that's what I'm talking about. Maple was right all along. If we want to reach Tamea's heart, going through her ears is the only way. I know how to get Tamea to come back. Rock and roll. Anything but that. Huh? Okay. 
We just wanted to cheer you up so you wouldn't be sad anymore. I'm not sad. Why does everyone think I'm sad? We heard you shouting pain by the trash cans, under the bleachers, in the bushes. Pain is the name of my cat. He ran away. But he came back. Didn't you, Pain? Ah! Oh! Is he a Siamese? No, he's a short-haired Tonkinese. He's adorable! Uh, can you please get changed now? You're making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Has the concert been canceled? No way! I know! At that price, it's a steal! No! That guy over there! That's the sorcerer who turned me into a ball! Some faces you never forget. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he sees us! That guy is insane! Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. Lettuce or toaster? Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Why not both? Hmm. Ah! Thank you, boy. You're crazy to go talk to him. I mean, have you seen that guy? He does seem a little weird. But if we ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. A little weird? A little weird? <laughs> Excuse me, but I think this is my car. <laughs> I always forget. I don't have a car. <laughs> Little weird. Maybe he's car sick. <laughs> a little weird. Maybe he's in a really big hurry. Stop making excuses for him! That's right, enough excuses! Who are we talking about? Ah! Hey, I know you! You were at the supermarket! Don't you recognize me? Hmm? Erico Platana! Hmm. The best footballer in the world? Hmm. You turned me into a ball! <laughs> you ruined my life! Nah, still nothing. Why don't you join me for dinner? <laughs> I do love company. Okay, you create a diversion, and I'll escape through the window to get help. That's rude, Erico. If we're nice and polite, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. <laughs> It's a family recipe. Dark meat or light meat? Bon appetit. Are you kidding? Come on! Mmm, tasty but light. Someone's watching their waistline.
Oh, what a night. You'll have to give us that recipe. Aw, you're just saying that. <laughs> Let's do this again soon, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sorcerer. You are amazing, Eriko. Another evening like that, and I'm sure he'll give you your body back. Or maybe we take matters into our own hands. Into our own hands? Because I've got his hands. Get it? You stole his hands? Stole? More like Bara. We need to give them back right away! Don't worry, he won't even notice. I mean, the guy is a bit... But you don't even know how to use them! No, I'm sure it's gonna work. Like magic. Because they're magic hands. Get it. <laughs> Howdy! It's always a pleasure to see new faces in this town. Oh yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. I like small towns, you know, it's just more friendly. Well, maybe a little training wouldn't hurt. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first, Eriko. Okay, here we go. Transform Jet Ski! Jet ski! Jet ski! Jet ski! Mamma mia! Uh, spaghetti! It's not working, Eriko. It's never too late to apologize. We can still work this out. Thanks to the power of apology. Hmm, maybe you're right, Daniel. Maybe you're... Jet ski! <laughs> Uh, Erico, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry, I'll fix that. Jet ski. Ah, there it is. Erico. What's going on? Holy no! We broke the hands! What are we gonna do, Erico? Nothing, Daniel. I think this is our life now. We'll just have to get used to it. Hmm. hmm. Forget it, forget it, this'll never work. Let's give the hands back and apologize. We've got no choice. Hmm, maybe that's not a bad idea. The power of apology. Ooh, I'm in a really, really bad mood. Okay, it was a terrible idea. What do you want? It's Daniel. Oh, new hairstyle. No. We stole your hands and I was turned into a rare fish of the deep. Ah. You, you're not mad at us? No. I'll just banish you to another dimension for eternity. You can come back on weekends and school vacations. <sighs> but the tickets will be very expensive and the seat's really uncomfortable! <laughs> Stop! It's not his fault. I stole the hands. Leave him alone. It takes some nerve to dare to steal my hands. And a good deal of courage to own up to it. Does... does that mean you forgive us? Nah, it means I'm gonna punish both of you. <laughs> No more battery. Don't worry, this will just take a moment. Then I'll punish you. Uh, is anybody hungry? Ah, 
Anyone gonna finish the pasta salad? No thanks, I'm all done. Ah, we're good! They're fully charged. Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I forgive you. I've stolen a hand or two as well in my time. people that's the power of apology yeah well it's about time i never want to see that awful guy in a bathrobe ever again <laughs> yeah i know he also has terrible breath and talk about a hunchback hmm. oh what i meant was huh. hey you think it's too late to apologize hmm. Panic, kids. Ah! I'm gonna find. Ah! Ah! Phew. I'm gonna find some more buckets. Whatever happens, remember, don't panic. Don't panic! Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you liked foosball, Erico. I'm just happy something football related's going on in this gym for once. Yeah. Boom! 10-0 in your face. I hate you, and I hate this game. All right, who's next? <sighs> huh? Steven? <sighs> no one else? Really? Oh, why not? I was the king of foosball at college. <sighs> Watch and learn, son. <laughs> hmm? One zero. Whoa, it's fast paced, huh? Uh. Two zero. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Mommy. Poor Steven. He just needs some support and encouragement. You can do it, Steven! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh when I'm drinking, Daniel. But it's true, Erico. The best way to improve someone's game is to encourage them. Uh, with a guy like Steven, there's only one way. Put him under pressure. <laughs> ah! Mr. Sorcerer? You live in the vending machine? Me? Nah, it's just a little job I do on the side to earn some extra money. Ah, huh, so that's why the soda tastes weird. It tastes weird? No, I mean it's... different? <laughs> What? I'm not doing a good job? No, no, not at all! Well, that's what I heard, too. Erico! Do you think it's easy to keep a job with a face like that? Come on, seriously. I never said that! <laughs> I curse you, Daniel Sisu! You will remain a foosball until... Until... Until you get this sweaty dad to win his match! Oh, no! I would not like to be you right about now. And what if I can't do it? Then you'll stay just like that forever! How long? Forever! Come again. Forever! And I'm gone. <laughs> Seven zero. Whew. They're in before you even see them, huh? It's no use, Erico. I'm gonna be a ball forever! <laughs> Half time! Who's coming with me to collect slugs? They're like snails, but naked. <laughs> Keep going, Steven. Don't give up. You can still win if you believe in yourself. Huh? Who, who said that? It's me, here, the little ball. Oh. Steven? Steven? 
I had a terrible dream. I was being haunted by a foosball. It wasn't a dream, Steven. <laughs> no, stay with me. You have to win this match. I know you can do it. I can't do it, little ball. Don't lose hope, Steven. Why not? If you believe in your dreams, everything is possible. Steven? Sorry, I fainted again. As I was saying, if you believe in your dreams, anything is possible. Get up. Get up and score! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The kid's gonna remain a ball forever. <laughs> <laughs> and so will you! <laughs> <laughs> what? If he can't play soccer anymore, he'll never become a champion. And you'll remain a ball, too! <laughs> <laughs> I needed a good laugh. Right, I'd better go. He's for them up themselves. Uh-oh, stuck again. Go on, Steven. Be confident. You can do it. Hey! It's my turn now. You've had your chance, but now my body's on the line. Time to get serious. Oh, no, now there's two of you. But his hand is stuck, Erico. It's always excuses with him. Now you listen to me, you little crybaby. You're going to get your fingers out of that goal right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I prefer the nice little ball. I prefer the nice little ball. Back to work! Is that all you got? Come on! Faster! I said faster! Yep, I said energy, Daddy! Come on, wake up! Come on, pull up! Go! 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 He's all flustered. You're stressing him out! And you're cheering him up with baby ice pops. How's that gonna help? Believe in yourself, Steven. Are you really going to lose to a kid? It's the taking part that counts. It's the winning part that counts. Don't listen to your fear. Listen to your heart. If you lose, you'll have to deal with my rage. Listen to your heart. Deal with my rage. Your heart. My rage. Your heart. My rage. Your heart. My rage. My rage. My rage. Time? One minute. <laughs> Awkward. Hey, my father is not. Look, Junior, Daddy can do a wheelie. Look, Junior, Daddy can do poetry slam. Look, Junior, Daddy's got a new drill with MC Daddy. It's always a party. Look, Junior, Daddy's bought some fireworks. <laughs> I'll never do it. <laughs> Erico, I think we made a big mistake. The big mistake was born long before we came along, Daniel. All I wanted was for my son to be proud of me. Aww. I can't impress him anymore. It was easier when he was little. I could just make faces, tell him a story, or have Mr. Belly sing him a song. Hey! You can't give up now! Think of Junior! Junior? If you knew what Larry said about your son... My son? He's proud of you, you know. Proud? Proud of me? Steven! 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 Okay, game on.
I don't know what to say. I didn't think you'd do it. This is the greatest life lesson you ever taught me. You just blew my mind. Right now, I'm so proud of you. I did it! I did it, Sonny Boy! I did it! That's my Steven. That's our Steven. <laughs> my body! Thank you, Mr. Sorcerer! Hey. Come on! Back to training! Yes, Eriko! I'm gonna make you run until you can't feel your legs. Huh? Because I know you can take it. Eriko. And if you don't give your all, you're gonna know about it! Uh. Because you'll hear me encourage you louder. Eriko. <laughs> Keep those knees high! Up, 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 up! We're saved, kids. I did it. I've got the buckets. Hmm? Oh, the rain stopped, huh? Ta-da! What is this nightmare? It's our annual club fair! There's hit the cans, the sack race, the hooker duck stand, the lemonade stand, clairvoyance, hey, that's new, the claw machine, the face painting stand, and... Dunker Clown! Step right up, step right up, come try your luck. I know a clown who needs a good dunk. I've already won all the other games. The ping pong contest, whack-a-mole, skittles, but I've never won it. Dunker Clown. How hard can it be? To dunk the clown? You have to hit the target with the ball. But the ball is tiny, and the target is really far away! Come on, Steven, you can do it. Winning is just losing with a smile. Oh. That darn clown! Anyway, where do we start? I like to warm up with a few rounds at Hit the Cans. Erico? You want to see the fortune teller? Nah, me superstitious. Come on, I don't believe in that stuff. Mm. Okay, Erico. See you at Hit the Cans. I'm not some chump. Everyone knows fortune telling's for chumps. Chumps! Hello? Come closer, my child. Closer. Welcome to the cave of mystery and magic. Have no fear. Take a seat. Hey, you're the guy who turned me into a ball. Hey, what do you know? Small world, isn't it? So, you want to know your future, huh? I just want to know if Daniel will be a champion. Will I get my body back one day or not? Palm reading, tarot cards, astrology, numerology. Crystal ball. Oh, I see you're a man of culture. Uh... Just a minute. Daniel Sisu, winning this World Cup has officially made you the greatest footballer in history. When did you realize you had it in you to become a champ, huh? Don't laugh, but I think it was the day I won at Dunk a Clown at my football's club annual fair. <laughs> With this new record, you've even dethroned Erico Platana. Any thoughts? <gasps> what? Did you get a good look? I can never see. Daniel's gonna be better than me? Daniel? It can't be. No one outdoes Erico Platana. The future isn't set in stone, you know. If you act now, you can still change its course. Yes! Yes! To think that one day he'll betray me. After everything I've done for him, he'll stab me in the back with his pudgy little hands. Look what I won, Erico! Huh? What did you win, you dirty little rat? A giant teddy! Oh, how adorable! You'll get what's coming to you, you snake in the... 
grass. I won at the sack race, hit the cans, and the pancake stand. Everyone wins there. Oh, that is so awesome. You ready to go then? We had fun. You won your stuffed animals. We're good to go, right? No, Eriko. I have to win at Dunker Clown. It's my destiny. I can feel it. Wait, don't you want to play something else? Another round of hit the cans, uh, hook the duck? No. Yoo-hoo, Daniel. I can do it, Eriko. I feel it in my bones. This time is it. No, wait! I mean, duh. Come on, champ, you can do it. It doesn't matter how you hold the ball. Huh? Am I holding the ball wrong? Yeah, forget what I said. The main thing is to not crumble under pressure. Even if all your friends are watching you. Watching you. I don't know, Eriko. I think I'm starting to feel like I might crumble. Oh, it's no big deal, Daniel. Just don't focus on maybe missing the target. Forget all about the pounding in your chest. Your sweaty palms. Shallow breathing. <laughs> or how the target seems to be shrinking. And most of all, never, ever, ever. I quit. <laughs> Oh, what a shame! You were off to such a good start! You know the best part about not trying? Not losing. Nothing wrong with knowing your place. You chose wisely, Daniel. Lame! Well, you have fun. Let me know if you get a bite. Hey, there you go. Who's the champ now? You know, Eriko, you really have to go in little circles because otherwise you leave marks. If you say so. Yeah! <laughs> if Daniel doesn't become a champion, I'll be a ball forever. The future isn't set in stone, you know. If you act now, you can... Yeah, 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 I know, I got it. Hey, cut that out right now. It's because I burst the paddling pool. I failed at that, too. Listen up, kiddo. You're a champ, and champs don't mop floors. Is that why you never do chores? Don't change the subject. You gotta fight, Daniel. You gotta take risks. I want my body back. But you're the one who told me I should know my place, and that if you never try, you never fail. I said that? Yep. And not to give myself false hope, and that if I didn't dream too big, I wouldn't be disappointed, and... You gotta become a champ, okay? A champ! A champ like you? Exactly like me. Wait, I mean, not as good. Like me, but not as good. Why not as good? Because no one's better than me, got it? That's why I threw you off earlier, so you wouldn't get big-headed. You tried to throw me off on purpose? <sighs> I just wanted to sap your confidence a bit. You know, in the hopes that you'd abandon your dreams. Okay, true. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound great. Daniel! Don't be like that! Huh, he's angry now, but he'll get over it. Daniel Sisu, this is the twelfth book you've written criticizing Erico Platana. Why so much hatred for a former footballer no one remembers? He knows! Okay, I gotta stop all this before it goes too far. Erico Platana is a big fat meanie, and he's got a huge chin. End of prologue. Daniel, can I talk to you for a second? Hmm. <sighs> I just wanted to say... I'm sorry, I panicked, because one day, one day you'll be better than me. Forget it, Eriko. I know you don't mean that. No, it's true, I promise. Do you really think so? I know so. And you know why? Because you've got the best coach in the world, me. So we're going back to that dunk of clown stand, and you're going to give that big clown the dunk of his life. Yoo-hoo, Daniel! Breathe deeply. Bend your knees, nice and steady. It's just you and the target. <sighs> you almost hit it. 
Lame. <laughs> Daniel, don't say I never do anything for you. Winning this World Cup has officially made you the greatest footballer in history. When did you realize you had it in you to become a champ? Don't laugh, but I think it was the day I won at Dunk a Clown at my football club's annual fair. <laughs> With this new record, you've even dethroned Erico Platana. Any thoughts? I think my coach is gonna be really happy. He taught me everything I know. It's like I always say, only Coach Platana can turn a donkey into a racehorse. Yes, I did it. I'm glad you're so confident. My visions are not the most reliable, you know. What? No, I am getting my body back. I, I saw it. Everyone knows fortune telling is for chumps. Hmm? For chumps? Con man! You okay, Eriko? Yeah, just never trust bald guys who can unscrew their heads. Okay! Hey, what'd you do with your teddy bear? I left it with Steven for a ping pong match. <laughs> Nine zero? You're getting cream, Steven. <laughs> Lame. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly, Daniel. Such amazing progress. I'm flabbergasted. So, how do you like those new magic sneakers? They're not magic, Erico. I know you made that up just to show me that the power to win was all along in my heart. <laughs> what? Of course they're magic. I bought them from the sorcerer. Huh? You mean they're really magic? Now that you mention it, I think he said cursed. Your cursed sneakers. Cursed, yep, he definitely said cursed sneakers. <laughs> You can't throw away a gift. With those sneakers, you'll be a champion in three weeks. Cheating is wrong. And your sneakers are freaking me out. Yeah, I'll never get my body back at this rate. How's that for cursed? What's the matter? It's the sneakers, Erico. They're back on my feet. I'm cursed. Cursed! Stop making it all about you. Think of the team. Did you see their faces when you were playing with them yesterday? Their eyes were filled with pride, love, and dare I say hope. They were? They were. But hey, if you want to throw their dreams in the old trash can, that's totally your call. Just get rid of the sneakers. Hmm? Also, if you keep them, you and I are both the same. Both cursed! <laughs> cursed! Great game out there, Daniel! So great that it's making me jealous. So great that... So great that I feel like a loser. I'm so jealous. We're just not good enough anymore. What's your secret, Daniel? What's your secret? I'm begging you, Daniel. Tell us your secret. I'm begging you. <sighs> I'm not really supposed to say anything, but... Hmm? Hmm? I'm begging you. 
it's my sneakers. <laughs> hey, are we cursed or what? I'm so glad you came around in the end. The sorcerer told me you'd get used to the side effects. The what? <laughs> Here we go. I can't sleep. It's only flies and weird voices. Go back to sleep. It's not that. It's the bed. And my sneakers are being mean to me. Hmm? Oh, my sneakers are being me. We'll see about that tomorrow on the field. I'm not sure I like being cursed. Hey, you're not the only one cursed here. Do you hear me whining? Uh, yeah, all the time. Hmm, being a champion isn't easy, okay? Come on, go back to sleep. <laughs> What's going on? Daniel, is it me or are they all wearing cursed sneakers? I might have shown them my pair. And the Sorcerer's Online shop and sponsored them to sign up. Sign on the dotted line with your blood. 15% off your next purchase. What a bargain. Yeah! <laughs> 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 wow, is it me or did the level just go up a notch around here? This is awful, Erico! The basil nuts are cursed! Let's not jump to conclusions, Daniel. Once I bought the cape and the hat, I couldn't let the belt and the gauntlet pass me by. It's out of control, Erico! I said let's not jump to conclusions! I shouldn't have bought the cursed earring! Okay, we may have gone a bit too far. Mm -hmm. ah! Listen up! <clears throat> sure, these sneakers have raised our game. Mm -hmm. But look at what we've become! Mm. Daniel's right! It's not really nice on the other side! We won't play so well if we take them off. But at least we'll be ourselves again. <laughs> <laughs> No more curses! We sure had a good scare, right? Yes, but all's well that ends well. Psych! I wasn't even scared. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh no! I forgot! Why did they always come back? Ah, shouldn't have gone for the lifetime guarantee. Okay, let's go see the sorcerer. But I warn you, you're doing the talking. Well, yeah, the screams, yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't have signed up for the full moon special offer. What can I do for you? It's the cursed sneakers. We don't want them anymore. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. no refund or exchange on the cursed items. <whistles> hmm? Sorcerer speaking. Please, Mr. Sorcerer, we'll do anything to get rid of them. An evil pressure cooker? Let me just see what's in stock. <laughs> you okay? I should have never turned my massage therapist into a potty hat. Maybe what you need is a little back rub. Come on, any day now. Good luck, kid. Cold hands! I can't stand cold hands! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my 
aching back. Hmm. I'll never be able to take back all those sneakers. Mm. I can't. I just can't do it. Take this, Eriko. What's that? It's my magic pet rock. It'll give you strength. Are you kidding me? Trust me, with this stone, you can do anything. Daniel, knock off the baloney. It is baloney, right? Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, right there! Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, on the lower back. Harder! <laughs> oh, you have magic pants. Oh, thanks, I feel like a new man. <whistles> Come on, kids, in you go! You were right, Daniel. That pet rock is magic. I felt its energy spread through my body. It was incredible. <laughs> Fooled you! There's no such thing as magic pet rocks. It was just an old pebble I found in my pocket. The real magic was in your heart all along. Uh, Erico? I don't know when or how, but one day I'll get my revenge and you'll spend your life regretting this little joke. What? No, not then. I mean, ha, 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 oh, you really got me this time. <laughs> <laughs> no more curses! <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I slept like a cherub on a cloud. And look at all these pollinating insects. That's just what our vegetable patch needs. And just when I thought my day couldn't get any better, look what I found in the trash! Huh? Oh. Meh! <laughs> 